Yo, so check this out. It's a lot of uh, know-it-alls out there who, you know, know everything there is to know about nutrition and dieting and clean bulking and bulking in general. I don't know everything, you know. So what, I, what do I do when I need to learn something? I go to those who have that knowledge, have that insight, people that I trust, all right? Um, <clears throat> So Chris Albert is somebody who I go to for nutrition advice. I know the basics, you know. Um, however, when it's time for me to really get on a serious program to whether it be a contest, photo shoot, or to put on clean masks, yes, clean masks, because some of y'all don't think that's possible. Uh, that's who I go to, that's my go-to guy. Not just me, um, uh, C.T. Fletcher, uh, you know, Rob, Big Rob, like a lot of people, you know, a lot of pros and people all over the world. This is what y'all don't know. You know, this guy knows his stuff. I trust him and he gets me right. You know what I mean? Um, and his book costing $75, I pay him a lot more than that for my diets. You know what I mean? You go to any uh, nutrition coach, you know, you're going to be paying anywhere from 150 to $300 for the initial uh, uh, program, and then you're gonna be paying at least $75, 50 to $75 a month just to maintain that, asking questions, you know, sending your progress pics, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, you guys are complaining about the, the, the wrong things, you know what I mean? About prices and stuff like that. If it's too much for you, that I understand. You know, just take the bits and pieces that we give you, you know what I mean? Or go find just you know find your way on your own. You know what I mean. But don't you know you don't have to sit here and talk shit because it, the price point is at a certain price. You know, uh, people. You know this man works hard. You know what I mean. You think writing out a legit uh, nutrition program is easy? <laughs> then everybody would be doing it. I don't do it because that's not my thing. You understand? So you know they say uh, a jack of all trades is a master is a nascent none. So I'm not one of those people that's gonna to try to do everything under the sun, you know? I have a legit team. We have a network of talented people who specialize in what they do. You know, that's why I have certain people around me and so many people around me because I don't know it all. I'm, uh, you know, so what do I do? I know the basics, but when I want the best of the best, I go and get the best. And in my opinion, Chris is the best. You know, it works for me. If it's not for you, that is totally fine. I'm not, you know, it's not for everybody, but it works for me. So y'all can stop with the crying and the whining about prices like, you know, and he's not, I, I advise him not to drop his pricing because, you know, his value is valuable information. It's worth more than what he's putting it out there for. You know, you guys would complain if it was $5. Oh, you're trying to sell everything. You know, do you say that when you go to the grocery store? Oh, you're gonna charge me for this fish? You're gonna charge me for this meat? You go to you say that when you go to the to the uh, to get your haircut, you get mad because they charge you. People provide services and you pay. It's simple. You think this is not service that 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 people in the fitness profession provide? This is stuff that should be covered by insurance. This stuff is, and what we're doing. I'm not telling you. I'm not giving you bad advice. I'm saying if you want to bolt, do it clean. Do it in a healthy way. Don't go and eat McDonald's to put on masks. Will you put on weight? Absolutely. But what happens if you're a competitor or something like that and it's time to drop weight, time to cut? You want to lose everything you put on because you put on junk, you put on fat. You understand what I'm saying? There's a reason why when I prep for a show, I don't lose much weight. Maybe five to seven pounds, and a lot of that is water, is because I'm maintaining a healthy bulking phase throughout the year. For most of the year, you understand? It's a huge difference when I know people who, you know, 30 pounds in the off season, and then when it's time to prep, <laughs> you lost 30 pounds. That means you put on nothing. You had no gains because you got fat. You understand? If you if you put on 30 pounds in the off season and you lose 30 pounds when you're prepping, what does that tell you? You understand? If you're putting on clean mass, when I say clean mass, I'm talking about muscle because you're working out, you're training properly, and you're eating food, keeping yourself in an anabolic environment, you're building muscle, you're putting on clean mass. Food is the most anabolic thing you can put in your body.
So y'all could keep talking about steroids and who's sticking themselves with needles. That's bullshit. You understand? That like that I'm not even gonna entertain those conversations because a lot of you guys have no idea what you're talking about. You think you do, that's why you're talking. People that really know, they keep their mouths closed with situations like that or ask an intelligent question, you understand? Instead of just throwing out accusations or that's not how you guys get like that. Talk about your, 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 your steroid stack, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's bullshit. I know people that's been on steroids for years that you'd be surprised if you seen them knowing they're on steroids, they look like nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So quit, don't lean towards the easy cop-out excuse or you see somebody with a better physique or a lift a little stronger, you wanna throw this and that at them, just, just knock it off, you know what I'm saying? Stop being that critic, hating on that person that's really doing something. Get your mind right, shut the fuck up and listen sometimes and, and, and pick up the good things that people are trying to give you instead of complaining about every little fucking thing. It's so irritating, you know? So <clears throat> all you iron addicts out there that really get it, you know, much love, you know what I'm saying? If you don't get it, that's fine. Just keep moving. Nobody's asking you to, to patronize us. Nobody's asking you to, to, you know, subscribe or listen or whatever. You can just keep it moving. Go to McDonald's and go bulk. You understand? Go, well, one of y'all is eat a bunch of food and protein. Just go do that. Cause you got all the answers. You know better than me. You understand? You the pro. You, you, you the one who got shit popping. So do what you do, you understand? But other than that, clean bulking is not a myth. It's really, it's really common sense, you understand? But <clears throat> in terms of insulin sensitivity, you know, these are things that me myself don't fully understand. So I go to people that do. I ask a lot of questions, you understand? And I have a lot of smart friends and I pick their brains, you know? And those who provide services that I am not the best at, I hire them for, for myself and for others, you understand? And this is no different right here with Chris Albert. You know, this guy knows his stuff when it comes to, to nutrient partitioning, insulin sensitivity, you understand? And <clears throat> my performance levels, I hit PRs the week of shows when I'm competing, you understand? Because we're not doing any dangerous cutting, you understand? We're building mass clean all year round. And when it's time to cut, we're just reducing calories and taking a couple things out of my diet. So I'm still strong, I'm still happy, I'm still full of energy when it's time to cut. When most people are lethargic, down and out, depressed, you know, no carbs, so, you know, you're just angry. I mean, my very first show, I was like that. But, you know, we made some modifications and I'm good. My whole thing is first and foremost, being healthy. Being healthy, not just looking healthy, but actually being healthy. Uh, second, you know, having my body in tip top shape, everything working properly, organs, muscles, everything, you know? So I don't cut, I'm, not, I'm one of those people that eat fruit while he's prepping. I'm not cutting out those, those important nutrients, those phytonutrients, I need all of that, you understand? <clears throat> uh, and being, and liking what I eat, you understand? So I sat down with Chris and I like this, I don't like that, how can we work this out? This man put it together. You understand? And it works, you know? So, much, like I said, much love to all you iron addicts out there that get it, you know? For those who don't get it, it's all good. But um, don't come to me complaining about prices and this, that, and third. Like, listen, you can't have everything for free. I can't have everything for free. I happily pay for things that I find valuable. You understand? So, you know, with that said, that's, that's all I'm gonna say on, on the subject, you know what I mean? So. Um, Y'all need to get your minds right, all right? And other than that, anybody else interested in Chris's program, the Unapologetic Muscle, uh, Getting the Shredded, the GTS program, yo, it's legit, it's legit, it's legit, it's legit. I'm not knocking anybody else's programs. And people act, come to me all the time. What if I try this? Does paleo work? Does this work? Does that work? I say it all works. Just stick to something. Be disciplined and stick to it, you understand? Everybody have their own methods we're all trying to get to the same place, you understand? We all have we come from different places, we are located in different places, so we all taking different roads to get to the same place, you understand? So that's how I see it. So no knock to nobody's program, you understand? But this is the program that I do, 
I stand by it, and I'm gonna keep standing by it. You understand? So, much love to Chris. Keep doing your thing, bro. And uh, he's keeping all of us in tip-top shape, and that's that's what matters to me. So, I'll let y'all later. All right.